And even with the Prime Minister on board, the TT Express was still unable to depart Port of Spain at its scheduled time. The vessel, which was supposed to leave at 3 p.m., left at about 4 o'clock. And a sailing that would normally take two and a half hours took about five hours. Again, here's Patricia Nicholson. She spoke to a few passengers about their experience. One passenger said the delay and the long sailing time was just too much. The departure time on the boat, the departure, it was really late and, well, if we leave late, we'll reach here late, so that was the only history I was having. Quite honestly, I think that the sea bridge between Trinidad and Tobago is supposed to be a bit more, more reliable than that. I mean, it's two small, it's two small islands, right, and we have, um, if one boat is down, it's supposed to have other boats to take up the slack, so... I don't think we're supposed to be experiencing these issues. Mr. Devine said he had no clue the Prime Minister was aboard the vessel. The Prime Minister probably wasn't launch by himself because I had no idea he was on the, he was on the ferry. The only the hint that we had that a government MP was on the boat was the um, the vehicles. When we came in, we saw the police vehicles and we saw the Prados on them and we thought that well, a government a government MP on here. So that was that was the only hint we had. This passenger, however, had a slightly different experience on the vessel. He said he's from Mason Hall and knew the Prime Minister well, so they chatted for a bit. He spoke to me. Oh, I, I, I'm a passenger, so I don't know. And what was the conversation between you and the Prime Minister? Well, I know the Prime Minister from Mason Hall okay. and we reminisce about things in general. Mr. Smart said Dr. Rowley spoke to him about the ferry situation and told him it should be stabilized soon, as the government was working on it. He too said the hours at sea were long, and although he said he wasn't a frequent traveler, he hoped the situation would be rectified quickly. I'm Patricia Nicholson, First News.